Hello, my name is Simon Bronnett. I'm the Dean and Head of Sydney Law School at the University of Sydney. And I'm Roger Magnuson, the Associate Dean for Student Life at the Law School. Simon, we're sitting here on the magnificent sky bridge of the Law School overlooking the Law School lawns. Usually they'd be full of students, but today they're empty. Um, all our teaching has migrated online and students are studying uh, from home. How have we done with the move uh, to online teaching in your view? Well, we face uh, an amazing set of challenges. Uh, I think in, in my professional uh, time as uh, an academic over the last three decades, I've never seen such a transformation uh, in the way we work and the way we study uh, happen so quickly. Um, so we've had to learn a lot very, very fast. Um, and um, of course, everything is different. Uh, students uh, are engaging with their uh, materials online. They're engaging with their teachers online. Uh, assessment is occurring online. But on the whole, I think the transformation has gone well. Um, of course, we're dealing with an extraordinary set of circumstances. And I think everyone is ultimately looking forward to the resumption of some uh, usual aspects of, of teaching in due course once the um, COVID crisis has uh, passed. Simon, it's possible that our teaching will remain online for most, if not all, of semester two. Uh, so what are the most important messages you'd have for students as they prepare for their assessments, as they prepare for their exams? Well, I wish them the best of luck first. Uh, this is a, an unusual time. And I know that uh, dealing with uh, a new set of uh, ways of learning and ways of being assessed will be stressful. And uh, it requires more discipline um, and no doubt acquiring new skills. Um, but everyone is suffering the same um, challenges. So I think that people should be assured um, that the law school, when it comes to assessing uh, and evaluating students, are well aware of the, of the challenges that students are facing today. As we move on to second semester, uh, we hope that we will continue as teachers to innovate in our um, educational design. Uh, we have uh, new resources being made available. We're investing in a wider array of online materials uh, that will be available for students. Um, and we have a digital team that's really working hard to create a, an environment, a learning environment, which really allows staff and students to have um, productive and meaningful uh, engagement. And I think that's what it's all about. It's about engagement. Uh, we are um, undoubtedly uh, rapidly uh, acquiring new skills, uh, both as staff and students. Um, and, uh, but I think there'll be some really positive things that will come out of the COVID-19 transformations. Studying law is hard, coronavirus or no coronavirus, and some of our students are stressed. Would you have any suggestions or guidance for them? Well, the students know how tough it is to study law. Law is one of those disciplines where students are expected to read a lot. Um, compared to other disciplines, we know our students are expected to read and prepare more, and they are competing in a cohort that is really the best and the brightest of their, of their generation. So law school is tough. Um, and obviously, they're not able to access the law library and the study spaces on campus. Uh, they're going to be studying alone, uh, and that makes it um, more challenging. Uh, but when they come into the um, uh, virtual classroom in, in Zoom uh, and through their assessment, they will be challenged uh, in how they have understood their material in exactly the same way as they were before. Uh, the standards, the expectations remain the same. And while that's tough, and law school is tough, uh, the outcome of that at the end of your degree, as you look back, is that you have learned skills that set you apart from others. Those skills that you're developing, the skills of analysis, of um, argument, they're still going on. That doesn't change. Um, maybe some of the modes by which you learn change, but the fundamentals of being of that discipline in studying law, of uh, taking a problem, finding the rules and the principles that will guide the answer, that doesn't change. And in that respect, with the talented uh, student body, um, your peers um, and the staff to guide, who are often leaders in their field, um, there is no doubt 
the Sydney Law degree will remain uh, an outstanding um, professional qualification that will stand people in good, good stead for whatever they do later in life. So you're confident in the future? Oh yes. Uh, we were established in the mid 19th century and here we are in the 21st century in the middle of a global pandemic. Sydney Law School will be around inspiring legal minds for, for decades and centuries to come. Thank you.